Thank you for that. That's embarrassing. Hey everybody, welcome to the Sunday stream. We're going to be doing some Fusion 360 design work. Let me know if the audio sounds good now. It's I see the bar b bouncing up and down, so we should at least have sound if uh, if we didn't before. I'm working on my makerspace a bit, uh, as uh, many of you that popped in for some of my other streams know. Um, I've kind of turned things around, so my gaming collection's in the background there, and uh, I ended up with a broken 50-inch TV that, uh, about an inch on the left-hand side, there's no video, and there's a crack in the bottom left corner, but the rest of the screen is still good. It has no audio, but uh, I was able to scale it in software to cut off the broken parts, and I've got a nice, like, 48-inch screen in front of me that uh, is going to be awesome for doing fusion modeling, and I think... Let's see, we got Robert Reynolds in chat. We've got Thomas, aka Arduino Mix. We got Ronnie Lorimer. Good morning, everybody. So the goal of the stream, uh, it's not gonna all be in one stream, I don't think, unless everything goes extraordinarily well, the design work will be a couple of streams, but um, they recently released the Neo Geo Mini Arcade Cabinet and it's got um, it's got mixed reviews anyways. Um, they changed the button layout. They didn't include a proper micro switch joystick like this one here, which you can hear those micro switches going. Um, and they changed the button layout. Now there's two accepted button layouts for Neo Geo stuff. There's the four button where it's like one, two, three, four, so they're in a square. And then there's the arcade one where basically it's four sort of almost in a line. Um, so if you're going after the arcade market, I would go after that layout personally, but... So the goal today is to start doing some design work. Uh, I've got a picture of what the cabinet they came up with looks like. Uh, I can't really go and copy out exactly because I don't want to get like, you know, stricken down for taking their intellectual property. Um, but I'm going to design what I think it should have looked like and it should be 3D printable when we're done. And uh, I'm going to be targeting, because I want to use proper sized arcade buttons, these are 33 millimeters, I'm going to be targeting the CR10 bag because we need to get four of them sort of side by side. Uh, and the only uh, caveat I'm making is the original arcade uses a ball, a uh, ball, um, looks like a baseball bat baton for the top of the joystick, and I'm using a, a ball topper instead because it's what I've got on hand. But yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to start by somewhat simulating the footprint of what this cabinet looks like. It's kind of got a smaller front section that goes to a bigger rear section. I, I think we can probably do that. Um, so let's go ahead and start off by putting a rectangle on here. So I like to start off by punching in a square that's the size of my build platform and then I'll make sort of the cuts I need into it from there. Um, this computer isn't the fastest, so... Hey, Robbie Mac. This computer isn't the fastest, so not every action is going to go perfect, but... Um, so I need I, I know I need the joystick portion of this to be at least uh, 95 millimeters tall, because that's how tall my joystick is. I think I'm going to probably... Um, I think I'll aim for probably 180. So let's go ahead and... Punch one in here. That's pretty close to 180 right off the bat. Um, so then we know that they sort of bring it in a little bit from there. So let's bring it in, I don't know, 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters sound good to everybody. I think that probably looks pretty good. So then theoretically, if we pop this up, make the bottom base five millimeters thick. Oh, a second. Cat's destroying things again, as, as he does. So theoretically, that's the footprint. I haven't done any design work ahead of time, so we're just going to see how this goes. 
Um, so then, I know I want it to go up at least, well, this is where we're gonna take some measurements. So set of calipers and my joystick and I gotta figure out how deep this thing needs to be to not bottom out. And we're looking at a minimum thickness of 36. So I think we'll do 40. like that we'll press this or pull this one in let's go back no, minus four again we'll stick with the minus Why is that not We'll stick with four millimeters for our thickness, and I'm going to build that as a new body, like that. Then I'm going to do a move copy. Tire body, generate a copy, and Then we'll do point to point movement and we should be able to just do this point here to this point here. That should be it. That's odd. Why? Something went wrong here. I can't figure out what. It should be drawn off that place. Okay, Thomas, thanks for swinging by. Hope you have a good Sunday. Might have tapered it. Yeah, that's what I did. I must have punched in a taper when I was frantically mashing the keyboard. Okay, so let's repeat in the process here. Do a create copy. Where's the other body it's saying I've got selected? That. Okay, that's not looking too, too bad there. Okay, so now we should be able to join all these parts together. And let's do uh, modify, combine. Boom. Hmm. Why did that not combine them? There. 
Okay. Are we working now? I've been talking the entire time. I don't even know it. I've been explaining my design stuff. Damn. Double damn. That's uh, super frustrating. Okay, well, you know. 
At least we found out now, right? Let's do 25. 25 up. Then this is where it would help if I had the screen on hand. Hey, Ben. Hey, Vince. I don't know if you heard me say hi to you, Vince, but I did. I heard it. It's okay, everybody missed the beginning audio apparently. Um, how I need to figure out how tall a nine inch screen is. Screen size calculator, try that. If it's diagonal and it's nine inches, then the height is 11.2. So if we make this, and 30. Mm. Looks about right. Do minus four. I've been using four millimeters for the thickness all the way around. I'm going to do a new body because then I can easily make a copy of it, drag it across, and then attach them. Oh, that's too bad. There's a lot of stuff going around right now, eh? Do a body copy. Select this guy. Do create copy, and then we'll just drag it across. Then we'll do a point contact like that. Zoom in, and we'll just say, hey, take this point here. Why is it not highlighting it? There you go. Take that point there and attach it to that point there. Done. Let's do a modify. Nope. And a combine. There's the base part. We'll take that, take that, and take that. Done. Thank you, Ben. I uh, hope it works out. Let me know if my audio suddenly goes quiet, because it shouldn't. <laughs> I haven't really shut up since this whole process started. Uh, it gives me an idea what to shop for, but the uh, I couldn't find an exact equivalent in the Canadian and the UK stuff, but I am ordering a similar sort of the backlighting they use for behind TVs. Um, it runs the same idea as what I put in here, but this stuff uh, doesn't go as bright as I would like it to. Although i got to find the remote and find out if I left the brightness turned down. Okay, so there's the base of the unit. So then what I want to do is do 
an offset. We'll select this face. I'm just going to rotate it so I can get a better look here. I was hoping it would just let me get the, the top line. Let's do a minus six millimeters should be thick enough for the panel, I think. Uh, I guess you have to use flip and then six. Perfect. And then we're going to do another offset on it. This one will flip it and we'll go 10. Like uh, so. No, don't like it. That's annoying. Depends on what your goal is with it. There we go. Flip. Let's do ten. Like this. <laughs> uh, what doesn't it like? Okay, I see what it's saying. So we do another an offset here, I guess, again. So the first one I did six, so let's do six. No, let's not do apostrophe five. Let's do 16. Let's do flip. Like that. Perfect. We don't want to do that on the front, just on the back. I always miss a spot. So I have something to look forward to after the fact. How are you, Mitch? Old buddy, old pal. 10 point, or 170.5, we're going to make this... that and then another line straight down like that You're a lizard, Barry. No, not that much. Two seventy one. Does that turn it to a cut? It does. Two seventy. That's what we want. Sort of. Okay. So then let's do a rectangle here. And I want, I don't know, let's call it nine millimeters, like that. Then I want, on this side, nine millimeters, like that. Then on here, 
So that gives us 252. 252 is going to be cutting it close to my controls, I think. 252. That one's locked. Then we'll do that. Then I should be able to highlight that and that. Just cut out that like so. Boom. That's where the control panel is going to sit. And because I'm all about trying to all about trying to make it so that uh, you don't have to print with many supports. Go ahead and add a chamfer to that inner lip there. And I think 9 should give us exactly what we want. And again, 9 will give us exactly what we want there. How are we looking? Okay, so then I should be able to theoretically no rotate first. No, do that, do that. at 90 please okay so then to get my control panel I should be able to do a press pull on this drag it across nope didn't mean to do that Hey, trolling for dollars. Two seventy. We're going to tell it to make a new body out of this. There we go. Everybody having fun yet? So I'm trying to keep some of the blocky aesthetics that are in the design that they already pushed out. Um, for those of you that are joining late, the miniature cabinet displayed on the stream is the one that they've put out officially, which hasn't been great. So seeing if we can do better. Now another thing they also sort of added like a little, um, I don't know what to call it, a beveled edge almost. I guess we could have done that, but I don't feel like it's going to be worth the effort. At this point, I'm going to go name my bodies. So I'm going to skip out. So call this main body. Call this one control. Okay. So now we have to hope that we left enough space for us to be able to put uh, the controls into the control panel. So let's start off on. Let's start off by adding our. Just for design lines. I know I need to leave like a ten millimeter barrier on both sides. Okay. 
just to make sure that we don't collide. Okay, so now need some joystick measurements. The panel on this, unfortunately, is a little bit bigger than the whole thing. So if we were just going strictly by the metal panel, it's make sure this is zeroed out. It is 53, but if we get the width of the whole thing in here, it's like 65. And then sixty five by ninety six, we'll say. So let's start off by doing sixty five by ninety six, sixty five by ninety six. Where's the top of my, why is it not visible? That's weird. Has anybody else ever seen this? The top of my square is invisible. There it is. Go ahead and do 24 millimeters. Yeah, 24 millimeters for the hole for the joystick. And the other thing we're going to do from here is that we need to measure the distance between holes. And we are 39 by 82. So 39 by 82. So we're going to do a sketch, center point, we'll do 82 by 39, put in some 3.5 millimeter holes. Probably clean up some of these construction lines now. Top view. What's everybody up to? Let's get this chat going. There's 10 people in here. That's more people than showed up to most of my birthday parties. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, okay, so now we need to make sure that we get the measurements. I know these are 33 millimeter buttons. I think 33.5 is what I usually put in and it works out okay, but let's just be safe. Nope, these, these are 30 on the, they're 33 on the biggest part of the clip. So let's do 31. 31.5. I'll do a diagonal up to here. Looks about right. I think that keeps us within our... Yeah. I do kind of feel like... Ah, how does that look to you guys? Looks about right to me. This front edge is a little sharp though, eh? Maybe we can do a... Uh, maybe a little chamfer on the front there. Not do equal distance, let's do two distances. And I want it to go down three or two. I want it to go back ten. Nope. Ten. Twenty-five. Two and uh, two and thirty five. Now they match. And two and five. How come the other one matched perfectly and this one did not? Modify. Chamfer two down two down thirty five thirty six was it thirty six? Did I do thirty six? Must have I 
think that looks pretty good. Wonder if. Okay, so if we do. I have no idea if this is going to work. If we do 80 there, like that. We do. there like that do a line from here to here do a line from here to here just wondering if there's a way uh, I don't think so We'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, so that's the base of the unit, basically. So if you look up an actual Neo Geo arcade cabinet, you'll see it's got this similar button layout where it's four buttons in a row with one sort of down to the left type that, and then a joystick. The next thing we're going to want to do is add spots for buttons in the front, which the other one included like a select and start button up on the top here, but I like to use uh, buttons that are a little more substantial. So let's just tack in a couple of buttons here. Um, need to add that. At least that 10 millimeter space there, like this. And it's 38. So if we do, just so I can get the center line down here, 19. Bring it across like this. So I've got these little white buttons. Kind of wish I had ones that weren't white now, actually. I might have some blue ones or something somewhere, but for now. These guys, they need a hole that's at least twenty-four. Does that make sense? Twenty-six point one. So Go 24.1, I guess. So a further apart than I want them to be. Let's try in here. Since there's only two buttons here, I don't really have to worry about the spacing. I just gotta pick something that looks good because we don't need to duplicate it anywhere else. E minus 10. So I'll probably print this control panel on its side to make sure that this angle turns out as nice as possible. To the current current plan. Now we need ways for these to attach themselves. So I've got to put some screw holes in them. So what I'll do, since they're lined up, is I'm going to measure in from here. We'll do let's do 15 down, 5 in, uh, 4.5 in, because I think I made it 9. I'm going to use three millimeter holes. So they're three millimeter screws, so I'll make this 3.15, not 1, 2. 3.12, need a little bit of tolerance. You want it to be able to dig into the plastic a little bit. 
So we're again 4.5 and 15. And we'll do a minus 20, and that'll get not only through the control panel, but also hmm, also into the uh, body underneath. I don't know what just happened there. Stop sketch. There we go. OK, so if we hide the control panel, you'll see the screws are now properly lined up. And I just want to, I should take notes is what I should do. So I don't have to constantly measure things again. That's 4.5 and 15. So we're going to do same thing on the other side. Feel free to ask questions in chat. I'm trying to do my best to make sure I'm paying attention to both. Chat's a little quiet right now, but it is a Sunday early afternoon. I'm sure people are out doing stuff. Pretty good, I think. We'll do some ones in the front here. I think that was 19 and 4.5 again. Oh, that's fair. How are you, the, the Guinness? Person so nice, they named them twice. That, that is precisely why I'm doing this, Matt. Uh, every review I've seen so far has been relatively negative. They made changes on it that didn't really need to be made. They didn't add anything that's beneficial. They dropped micro switches for the controllers. And they, the screen that's included, like, it's, a cool, it, it's a nice looking little desk thing, but you know, a, th a uh, 3.5 inch screen is not, not huge. Well, if you ever have questions, let me know. I'll do my best. I'm nowhere near an expert. 
I've just done enough of the arcade stuff that I kind of know where everything is that I need for it. Do a little bit of clean up here. I'm going to make it so that we can sink those screws a bit. Yep, that's why mine is being built with something that sounds like this. Ah, oh, yeah. If it ain't got that click, it makes me sick. Matt Nelson is the gentleman that des that designed the uh, Funko Poppy looking looking uh, Bob that is on my shelf. And I'm currently working on a video for one of his other Funko Pops because I'm selling out for clicks. If you're not selling out, you're not playing to win. Design anything cool today, Matt? I'm having a heck of a time breaking all those tree supports free off of that other model. Oh, waiting on parts, that sucks. What'd you break? I'm not saying the name of what the model is because I don't want it to be a surprise, but. I guess I probably want to add the same things around these ones. Ah, I see. Silicone sock is a good idea. It's probably too much. It's not bad. I might leave that. Uh, Fusion 360. Why? Did, 
Oh, I guess it did. Equal distances. Let's do it in four, five, six. There we go. That looks good. John Mack! John Mack leading the way. How are you, buddy? Long time, no see. Just okay. That's too bad. I want you to be fantabulous. I hope you're saying good things. Do 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 do. Well, now I'm worried because you didn't say you were saying good things. Making me a scurd. <laughs> Nobody likes my stream. Two seventy two, lock it in. Bring it up. Just grab that. Grab that. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. Why is it not? Five. 
six, seven. Let's do two distances. I need this to go ten, and this to go six. Is it six and then ten? I don't freaking. Eight. Eight is what we want here. Six. Chamfer cannot be created. I guess technically it doesn't matter because it's already coming out. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. It doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be done. Oh, John Mack would be here if he didn't like it. He's a sucker for punishment. Who's having fun? Cause I keep cruising, can't stop, won't stop moving. I've spent so much time this week watching Supernatural. I'm gonna go refresh. I'm gonna see because every time I do a live stream, I lose subscribers. I was at 1,800 on the nose when I started this one. Let's see if the old adage holds true. Oh, still on, still on 1,800. Nobody. Hey, Uncle Ron. Excuse me. I wonder if I can... Can I delete this chamfer? Does that work? It does. Because I'd like... I like to play with it some more. It's not quite what I had in mind yet. Let's do modify. Let's add a chamfer. We're going to go two distances. This way, we're going to do like, I don't know. Let's do 20. We're going to do six this way and 20 this way. We're going to do 20 this way and six this way. 15? That looks better. I think. Modify chamfer 6 and 15. I don't know if I like that or I like the other way better. 
Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I think I like that better. What do you guys think? I already said that I like that name. Filament Shack is a place where we can go and get extruded. Brew it, print it, build it, blast it. I'm just going to borrow dimensions for the screen from my Pac-Man cabinet. Boil it, mash it, stick it in a stew. I'm going to release the designs for this onto Thingiverse this week. This, uh, week. Okay, so screen dimensions are 202 by 115.6. 202 by 115.6. 202 by 115.6. 202, I'm going to make a note of that. 202 by 115.6.
I kind of wish I had speakers small enough to stick into the sides there, because there's kind of a bit of wasted space there, but... Okay, now... Need to do a bezel. Let's do... No, let's do 60. 60. Then we'll do... this. So that's 52 by 20.5. Let's do Headphone speakers. Well, let's see what the side profile of this thing looks like. And size wise in the front, I think it looks pretty good. Copy bodies that there. Can I just do a create copy from here? Because that that would be divine. Come on. Maybe it's easier to get. Uh, I never, I've stopped designing them with specific boards in mind pretty much because, uh, people just use what they want anyways. Most of the time I don't even put the mounts in for it. I often use Orange Pi for my build. Lots of people use Raspberry Pi, so, but that type of, that type of board, yes. Like something small. Good. Let's do an offset. Let's do it four and let's flip it. And from here, we will draw a line down, draw a line out. And draw a line out. And well, getting a Raspberry Pi set up to play retro games is super easy because you can just install what's called RetroPie on it which is an operating system you just flash onto the SD card and uh, it's ready to emulate stuff right out of the box. Come on, 
that. I think we want 290. Done. Oops. Damn it. Seriously, it's super easy. You download a file from the internet, you open it in a program, you put an SD card in and click a button. Then 10 minutes later, you take that card out of your com computer, put it into the Raspberry Pi and it's ready to go. Design's actually getting faster than I expected. We've only been live for an hour and a half, and uh, that's the pre preliminary part of it done. So the top part will probably print on its back, I would think. I'm debating the orientation this will print in. Um, I'm thinking maybe it'll print with this edge, like uh, touching the bed, so flat like this. Kind of how my other arcades have been designed to print. Um, how tall is this from top to bottom? I'm wondering if I can actually turn this all into one piece. Nope. Pretty sure right off the bat it's going to be taller than 300 millimeters. That, that, that is how I've been designing it. Like, I've been cutting into separate pieces, but then I was wondering if it got close enough that I'd be able to... But no. Um, so, let's see here. Main body. Control panel. So, rename this screen bezel. And then i got to merge all these into one piece. Do that, 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 that. I should be able to do a modify. Damn it. Upper body. I do try to design my stuff so that I can print it without supports and as few as pieces as possible. So if we look at, I don't know how much of it you're here for, but if we had the control panel, you'll see that the supports for holding up the control panel are all um, done with chamfers so that we can uh, just print it, I guess, flat. I think that's how it's going to end up being printed, so this part down. I'm debating if I want to put my logo on here or not. And we have to decide where the speakers are going to go. I, I've ordered a uh, piece so I can put two USB ports on the side here. Speakers may go up here. I forget how big this section is. Let's go ahead and hide the main body. So I could put 50 millimeter speakers in there without a problem. I usually, 
I, I, I'm not going to say usually do. On my Pac-Man cabinet, I totally did. The um, rear hatch. This is a sponsored project. I see 3D uh, is a filament company that sponsored a bunch of my builds for going to the East Coast Rep Rat Festival. So I put their logo on the back too. I'm hoping this doesn't look like, I don't think it looks much like their arcade cabinet to be completely honest. Like I think it's hopefully enough to be able to tell that it's supposed to be a Neo Geo cabinet because it's got that nice blocky appearance, but Three new notifications have popped up in Twitter. Okay, so other things we need to add. Uh, if it's going to print in this orientation, I need to add do a stop sketch first because I still have my previous sketch work going. You need to put a spot for the door to mount. Which will do. I don't think this thing needs to be more than say five millimeters deep and then However tall, I think we're going to stop it just short of the top there, 155. Just leave it new body. And we'll do ten millimeters that way. Okay. And we need an actual door. This one will be a new body. There we go. We're going to call this one hatch. We'll hide the rear hatch. And then we're going to do a modify and a combine. And we're going to merge the main body with the two supports that will hold the door in place. And the other thing we're going to have to do is add a chamfer so that these don't require supports to print. Modify, chamfer, 10, back to doing equal distances, 10, 
9, 8, I don't, uh, it may not like the fact that it's uh, touching this upper edge here, because I think it might be trying to put a two millimeter gap there. I think it's trying to separate, or it's trying to chamfer based on this too. It's saying, I, I, can't, I can't add an angle like that. That's my theory. Let's do a minus 10 for that, and then we'll do a chamfer on that and see if it works. Keep switching back to there. Modify chamfer two distances equal distance. There we go. Welcome back, Uncle Ron. You missed everything while you were gone. We solved world hunger, we cured cancer. We taught Kirsten Stewart how to act. Super proud of that one. notifications pop it up on my phone it's gonna be the last project I do before Kay gets home I'm hoping I'll have time to print it usually about this time I start taking a look to see how much it's actually gonna cost in filament to print so I'm gonna launch Kira this may cause me to lag a little bit this machine's really not uh, up to snuff for doing multiple things at once. I did get the actual colored buttons that they used for the original Neo Geo though. So we got that going for us, which is pretty exciting. She will be back uh, a week and a day from today. She's back next Monday, nine o'clock in the morning. Thanks for swinging by, Matt. And thanks for the design work. Uh, I'm hoping to have that video out this week. I'm recording four or five videos this week, and then I'm going to try and release one or two a week. Um, my wife's been gone for like two and a half months, and she's getting back, so I'm planning not to do much recording for the first little while when she's back. So. There's our proper colored buttons. I, I'm planning. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. I've only released one video in the past three weeks, so... Take it easy. It's Uncle Ron. I can't show it because... Uh, I, I guess I could take a picture now. I am not back on my diet. I've actually gained 10 pounds in the past month or so. But. I'm starting back up this week. I'm going to, uh, I've been going to the gym again, though. Uh, let's see. I sent you a message on Twitter, Ron. The monitor on the right-hand side is a 22-inch LCD. 
just so you have an idea. That is true. Got these sweet muscles coming in with the bruises on them. Look at that. Uh, I'm trying to think of where we go from now. I think I'm going to have to pause it here because I've got some stuff coming from Amazon tomorrow that I need to fit into it. Kira still hasn't loaded or finished loading. Oh, there it is. Must have heard me say its name. I actually don't know where that bruise came from. I was laying floor last weekend. I think maybe the when I was carrying one of the boxes, it slipped and pinched the skin, but... So they do the main body in white, they do the control panel and screen bezel in black, and then they do the top part in blue. So I'll probably do something similar. I need the upper body. We're going to work on the upper body. Just look at that body. What? Just look at that body. Hmm. Just look at that body. I, I work out. Four. An arcade cabinet that folds into itself? I did I did design one originally for um, Earth that was going to be the one I gave to um, IC3D, but they wanted something more traditional. Mine kind of looked like a uh, arcade version of Battleship. I think it's still in here, actually. Um, let's see. Yeah, Battlecade. This guy here. Let's see if it opens. So this one here had light up IC 3D logos and stuff on it, uh, dual screens. Joystick went into the holes here. That was pretty much it. But it did not see the light of day. I'm going to save this before something happens. Because with my luck, everything will go to poop. <coughs> mm. Sorry. Getting a cough.
Coughs is bad news. Okay, so now if I put the main body back in, that should give us what we need to glue those guys together. Hey, Sean. Enough clearance there? Just barely. the main body rectangle let's see how many equal size rectangles we can get out of this for how tall are we looking at we're we looking at 50 hmm so if we do Where's my calculator? I didn't realize Rufus was sick, Ron. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, that sucks. Is he responding to treatment? 
I'm assuming they've got them on some sort of antibiotics. I guess this isn't the first time I've done this. I think I did the original Pac-Man design in a live stream. I didn't end up using that design. I ended up going and redoing it. But it was a learning experience at least. Waka waka. Are you guys using it a lot? I stole your boss a transparent copy of my logo. I'm kind of been sh shooting shit in the bed since I got sick. That was the last sketch. This one? Man, I've... I've done a lot of sketching since I started. Stop sketch. Show me this one again. There. Hide that sketch now. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's it's on and off. I. I guess five decent days last week and two bad ones. What can you do? What would you do for a Klondike bar?
Oh, come on, John. You've shit the bed for a lot less than that. Oh, not for. From. You've shit the bed from a lot less than that. Did any of you guys ever actually play a Neo Geo arcade cabinet? Let's um, modify the appearance. I don't remember how to do this though. Appearance. The arcade cabinet. Okay, Sean, you've played it. So do you see some of the Neo Geo design in this? I want to make sure I'm hitting the right bells and not just seeing it myself, you know? Why is it not letting me change the color here? Oh, do I have to download it? Is that what it is? Powder coat black. Oh, I can't download any. I have to select stuff that I already have. OK, uh, let's do oh, plastic black. There you go. I did add an extra angle towards the bottom of it. Um, it's a little bit of our artistic license. Can we do a render? It's a little bit of artistic license because of the amount of space I've got. I also know that there used to be like a like a corner, so it would be like from. I don't know how to explain it. I've taken a few artistic licenses, but. Uh, I think I've got the overall design down. I 
I kind of want to try and put the buttons on it. Even though they don't need to be there, just to get the actual appearance of it. Yeah, let's try that. Let's do a circle. We'll do here. I'll get the measurements of the actual bezel of these buttons. Which is about 33 millimeters as expected. Thirty-three. Really? Is that is there not much of that? Oh, I guess there really isn't that much of a lip on those. Thirty-three. We'll select the whole thing. Do a press pull. Um, how much taller are these things now? Uh, looks like three millimeters. We'll do a new body. In the middle of this one, we'll do another circle. Uh, no, I'm I'm using the proper color coded Sanwa style buttons for the actual things, but I'm just putting select. Or I'm just putting two basic buttons in the front. Twenty-five millimeters. And. Let's add a fillet. Two millimeters around the edge. Like that. Not bad. Okay, let's get the main body hidden, and then I'm just going to see if I can do a move copy. We'll do a body. We'll do that. It shows up, and then it goes away. Move copy, select origin point there. Bodies, this body, this origin point, not this body, this origin point. Create copy. Nope. Unless I can figure out which sketch it was. Where I did the control panel. sketches do I even have in here? Lots. Uh, 
Now I'm just flailing around. Oh, it should be the next one. There we go. Select target point. There. There we go. What did the original Neo Geo start and select buttons look like? I don't recall. No. There. This body. This source. Great copy. Sounds like it's probably too, um, it's not the kind of thing I'd be able to get a generic version of off of AliExpress. So I'm trying to make it so other people can fairly easily duplicate what I do, as I do. Okay, well, we should have our buttons now. view I want. Rotate. Let's go up like that. Now we need to color coat these bad boys. I gotta go find my picture of the original one. Apparently my video output's not great. What's going on? CPU uses about 100%. End this task. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Matt? I'm going to close Kira. I think Kira is causing the issues. I'll calculate um, filament usage later. Let's see if that puts us back on the on the green track. CPU usage is still at 100%. Now, now we're at 97%. Hopefully we're catching up. Is anybody getting buffering? I'm getting warnings on my side, but I haven't heard anybody complain yet. Red, yellow, green, blue. Red. Red. I can't, apparently Fusion is updating and as a result, 
I can't actually go and get all the colors I need. That's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, everything's kind of going to poop here in terms of CPU utilization. Oh, now it's showing green on the on the health check for the stream. So I'm gonna close everything that's not essential. Hey, AJ's here. How you doing, James? Uh, I mean, there's lots of things that can cause Z-binding. Um, you could have, you need, may need to lubricate your uh, threaded rods with some lithium. Um, if your x-axis, assuming that your x-axis is what's traveling the Z, isn't perfectly aligned, then it can bind up. Um, could be imperfections in the threaded rod, could be imperfections in the uh, brass, brass bushing. What else? If it's a dual threaded rod um, setup, and one of your motors may not be receiving enough power. Those types of things. Yep, everybody's mean to me. That's okay. I'm a tough guy. I can take it. Um, just gotta measure the size of my ball. We're going to do a join. Quick 
Quit playing. Quit blaming James for your farts. For Matt's farts. Smelly farts. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. The newer version has landed. When you're ready, restart to get the latest goods. Well, let's do a save. Let's restart it because then I can finish color coding things. Don't save. Why is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's already starting. I think I just started it twice. Waiting for Fusion to finish loading. I don't know if she's still listening, but she is, if she is, hey Kay. And I hope you had sweet dreams. for now. So who's still out there with me? Just wondering how many people I'm going to upset if I start singing. Drop my watch numbers down to single digits. Aw oh, yeah. <laughs> Scared Matt off immediately. You have a good day, Matt. Thanks for swinging by to say hi.
Okay. Well, I'm hoping we can finish putting the appearance on these buttons anyways. That is the yellow button, it looks like. Supposed to do the whole body. Yellow button. Move. And green. Green plastic. There we go. Let's see if we can do white again. I guess white for the... Let's see here. I just want to make sure it didn't... Joystick. Open up the appearance and we'll do faces. I guess it doesn't treat that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's uh, let's open this up in render mode and see how it looks. I do think that looks distinctly Neo Geo-ish. I'm mostly happy with the way that looks right now, actually. There we go. And just... Yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? Taking a screenshot of this nice little render we got. Watching NASCAR. NASCAR hasn't been the same since Dale Earnhardt died.
He certainly was. I feel like that's probably about where we're going to end it. The second copy few. I got worried there for a second. It looked like my uh, looked like my model was gone. So there's our two and a half hour progress. You can now. Sorry, I fusion. That second copy of fusion opened over top of the copy I had open while I was alt tabbed. You should be able to see it now, the 3D render of it. So that's actual joystick height. So if you're looking at it dead on, it looks like the viewing angle should be pretty good. The joystick's not gonna be in front of the screen, which is what we were aiming to avoid. So in phase two, I'm going to have to add mounts for the speakers. Um, I'm going to have to add some holes and ventilate the back. Um, what else? Uh, I'm going to be adding a port here that will have two USB ports so that you can connect to it externally. I'm tempted to smooth out some of the edges on this, but honestly, the original design was so blocky that if I'm trying to keep the original feel, I think i got to leave the, the harder lines on it. I'm wondering if I should make the holes around the screws, like for sinking them, a little bit bigger. I don't know if I've got any screws handy right now to see how big the heads are on them. Six millimeters doesn't look like it's quite big enough, and I'd rather find out now than after it's printed. I think most people would agree with that. Oh, here's some. I've got some M3 six millimeters. I think this will probably be both the M3 eight mils to put together. Six millimeters will definitely go through both pieces of plastic, but I think you want to sink it a little bit more than that. Uh, the heads on these are 5.5, so six should do it. And how tall are they? Three point, no, yeah, they're, they're about three, so they should flush them out. Good, good, good. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for day one. I've got some more parts coming in tomorrow. Um, I have some family coming to visit for a day or two this week, but at some point this week I will pop back on, we'll finish designing it. Uh, I'm hoping to get it printed and built this week. That is the goal. I should have enough filament to do it. And uh, it's not an overly complex print. It is going to be a long one, for sure. But pretty excited. As always, when the design is finished, it will be presented to my Patreon supporters first. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's going to end up on Thingiverse or not. I will keep you guys apprised. We will find out shortly. I guess to finish the running, I should probably put these buttons in there as well, which are 27 millimeters. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys coming out. I'm going to spend the two seconds to just toss in these buttons just so that we can get the, the full effect. I'm just going to do them together instead of copying and pasting. I forget how tall these guys were. I think three, three millimeters. 
and new body like that. And then <laughs> what if you're in a marathon human centipede, not human centipede, centipede game and it shuts off? Killing you just before you get the world record. That'd be terrible. Ladies and gents, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Don't forget to thumbs up, and if you're new here, subscribe so that you can get information about this cabinet when its designs are released and where you can get them. Alrighty guys, till next time, stay creative.